a big focus on making Hyderabad and Telangana drug free. That's what Chief Minister Revant Reddy has said. That is exactly what Hyderabad's Police Commissioner Mr. K. Srinivas Reddy has said as well. You have uh, said your big focus is going to be making Hyderabad drug free. Uh, what are the specific things that you're going to do? Are we seeing actually a rise in the drug users, drug supply? Yes, uh, there is a rise which we have seen through the statistics. Uh, there is also, a, I mean, a, a significant rise in the enforcement work. But we still have uh, a lot to do because this is a big menace and it has international ramifications and the network is big and people, uh, in order to profit from this uh, uh, this particular, you know, abuse of drugs. They are targeting gullible students of, you know, teenage groups and then other gullible customers through various means. I think uh, in the form of toffees, uh, toffees laced, laced with uh, drugs, hookah centers also, which are illegal, of course, we are closing down and uh, they are also, the tobacco products are laced with drugs. So slow addiction and then finally making them a, a kind of uh, captive customers and then benefiting from that. So it's a big network. Internationally, we all know that. So Hyderabad, before it falls prey to such, uh, uh, you know, mafia, falls prey to the designs of mafia, as we have seen in Punjab, state like Punjab, so we have to act. And these are the instructions, very clear instructions from the Chief Minister of uh, Telangana State, Sri Revant Redigaru. And uh, this is the first and foremost uh, item of work, enforcement work for us. So in this, a lot of things are involved. You have to first determine the demand supply chain. You have to go to the roots. Who are the suppliers? Because often we are only reaching up to the middle level. And, uh, and from there it is dead end. So unless we go to the roots and then identify the real suppliers, and then at the same time targeting the, the consumers who are gullible particularly, and then educating them, creating awareness, involving all the educational institutions right up to graduation and of course even further, right from schools. Because this is where the menace, the parents of the city are worried that uh, because they hear news, maybe some of them may be experiencing the same thing, uh, uh, their children falling prey. So the schools have become, some of the schools have become major targets for these uh, drug peddlers and uh, drug suppliers where uh, the, I mean, they, they are doing it in, in front of the schools, inside the schools and uh, the borders, maybe using the, uh, the, the employees of the schools. The pawn shops in front of the schools are, you know, or the cool drink shops in front of the schools are, I think, supplying it. So these are all the instances which we are coming to know. So we will have the, you know, focus on all of them. We'll strengthen our uh, intelligence system to identify. We'll involve the schools to do their bit because it's not just school and I mean do not mean that they take children, admit children, take collect fee and then uh, uh, impart uh, the formal education. They should also focus on their welfare. If things are happening around them inside, it is their bounden responsibility. So we have, we are checking out a program to involve the schools, all managements and the parents in a big way to root out this problem and we will certainly succeed and the intelligence, strengthening of intelligence strengthening of our ways of uh, doing investigation uh, within the four corners of the law and uh, in ensuring uh, convictions will be our major focus. Cannabis laced, uh, you know, chocolates like you mentioned, we have uh, spoken about or we have uh, reported on as well. Uh, what are the other kinds of drugs that you are seeing in usage, especially in Hyderabad? And as you mentioned, yes, uh, uh, the big schools are also, you know, where perhaps surplus money is there in the children's hands. Is that also an issue? Yes, that is certainly one issue. The you know, not only in the students' hands, money. I mean, the rich kids you are talking about. Even the the youth, generally today in the present day world, the employment opportunities are better. So they are all employed, so they get salary. So certainly the the affordability is there. And uh, coming to drugs, uh, the weed. I mean, which is commonly called the the ganja, which is commonly called as weed. So that is uh, coming in big supply from across the state and it has a route also. It is now known to us and the, all those routes in route uh, uh, districts and all, they will be focusing on cutting the supplies. And then we have uh, drugs like MDME, we have Alpha Jola. So we have all these LSD, then uh, there are various kinds of drugs, you know, depressants and the hallucinogens and things like that. 
people use them for different various reasons to get on to get high and to also you know uh, have the ecstasy to forget their troubles which are like depressants and all whatever it is i mean everything comes under drug abuse and we'll be focusing on all of them is that a lot on the cyber route or are you talking about physical route i mean very often we hear about huge consignments of ganja weed being caught but are you also seeing a lot of uh, the net being used for this yes when it comes to uh, drugs like ganja weed it is physical mostly it's coming by road and by trains also uh, the, even the 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 train routes are also being uh, very often used by these ganja peddlers when it comes to other drugs the pills and all i think it is also being sold on uh, the cyber cyber world it, on the internet so we'll have to focus on that our cyber uh, uh, wing cyber crimes wing will be focusing on that and also physically they are also coming physically from cities like mumbai pune and as i told you earlier we have to go to the roots of it and then uh, strike at it you spoken about certain gadgets that you are now getting which can whiff out even if you have held some kind of a drug in your pockets uh that's something that the youth must know as well that you have to be yes. uh, you know uh, uh, vigilant or rather not use it at all yes certainly these uh, gadgets are helping us in you know detecting the the vapor the the scent of drugs so these are something like uh, breath analyzers that are used for alcoholism determining alcoholism they are still in the initial stage of uh, use so we'll certainly test them certainly it will act as deterrent and then slowly if uh, the technical robustness and the truthfulness is determined perhaps we must uh, convince courts for its you know, admissibility as evidence in the courts also so what are these gadgets i mean i i does that mean that if i've carried it in my bag or in my pocket the uh, device may be able to actually detect that there was no, the presence it is, it is also you know they blow into just like breath analyzer you are blowing those kind of gadgets are there then the sniffing gadget like i mean you have some some you know abandoned uh, sachets of something so if if you apply this test uh, using those gadgets i think they will be able to send uh, i mean uh, receive that uh, vapor and then determine so but as i told you they are still in the initial stage but uh, yeah it's a good beginning okay good uh, new year is coming up and uh, this is a time of celebration and uh, unfortunately it does lead to increased alcohol use or drug use specific uh, measures that you are taking in this particular new year eve like every year there are restrictions now uh, while we welcome new year with uh, open heart and then with all smiles and uh, certainly with a uh, lot of enjoyment but we also must have limits so like every year we have uh, all the restrictions like 1 o'clock they should close all the establishments that means 12 30 they should uh, prepare their customers to you know, leave so that they can close uh, dot 1 then we have uh, <clears throat> the, certainly the serving of liquor to minors and all is a big no so the it, it is the responsibility of these establishment to see that minor girls or boys are not served if necessary they should demand you know their uh, aadhar card or whatever i mean once you see a boy or girl who is appearing to be a minor adolescent so they should also ask for uh, identity or they i mean they should prevent them from taking and uh, the use of drugs in any form in all these uh, in any of these high end restaurants or pubs is suddenly a big no and uh, that means a death knell to them they can never open again that much i can say we'll take all legal action possible to see that they don't uh, i mean come up again when it comes to the, the i mean the traffic on the roads so we urge our uh, youth and others also not to indulge in drunken driving so they should come with one driver who is not drunk and uh, otherwise they should you know uh, remain indoors and over speeding all these things because this this uh, over speeding and drunken driving are the big causes of accidents on new year day i mean on the intervening night every year so we should prevent them because it's a loss of life is a very major thing and it's a big disaster for the family so we are we are taking all those things and the events that they are conducting with music dj sound and all so they should do it within limits of 45 decibels not uh, more than that and then not disturb the neighboring neighborhood Okay, you spoke about the schools accountability just coming back to that very often schools are worried about their brand image and therefore do not want to talk about it with other parents very obviously that is something that they need to do what is the kind of accountability that you are expecting from schools and establishments like that the management so that their involvement is there in curbing this 
well see brand image is something but uh, the welfare of the society is another thing so which comes first not your brand image or my brand image so if it you turn a blind eye to all these things then the, your brand image itself gets you know it is under threat so the schools should re, i mean remember that and when the things are happening uh, i mean the drug abuse left right and center around certain areas i'm not blaming all schools but we have information that in certain uh, i think areas it is rampant you can't turn a blind eye because it is like the very purpose of education very purpose of uh, being an educational institution is defeated you can't have students who are addicted to this and and you can't expect them to be good students and tomorrow and to, today's students are tomorrow citizens so you can't have a spoiled generation and yet call yourself as a school so this is my appeal to them that you should involve in a big way you should not you know uh, hesitate from reporting after all you are not doing if unless you are doing yourself what is the worry if somebody is doing and spoiling uh, the whole environment i think it is definitely the school management's duty to unearth it to tell us and of course they need not take action by themselves just inform us and we'll take the action so i expect them to fall in line and in fact i would also i will be writing to all these schools uh, i will appealing to them uh, as commissioner of police hyderabad that uh, what are their i mean reminding them of their responsibilities perhaps they are not aware also what to do sometimes it so happens that police is the department which is there and if they are not doing why should we talk about but then it's a community thing so we will all in, i mean together we will have to face this uh, challenge so i am requesting them to even also have some classes like we used to have in our you know student days that moral classes and all because it's not just education is not about making people commercial and you know making them uh, uh, i mean the, uh, to earn money they they should also uh, i mean this inculcate these values social values and moral values in their minds young minds so they should and as part of that they should also tell that this drug abuse is a big menace and it destroys the whole society so towards that end we are uh, i mean very soon we'll be having a kind of conference with all the managements and all maybe if not all together maybe in two three areas we'll do it and then we'll involve them in big way and the government also wants it that way the education department already i spoke to the principal secretary education sri burra venkatesh garu and then the intermediate uh, board commissioner we'll involve all of them up from official side and we'll involve all the schools and then we'll take it forward okay the other big area of focus is the cyber crimes and they seem to be more in number than even the physical offenses that otherwise happen so is hyderabad becoming high tech so much or is it uh, something that is technology has become all pervasive and therefore technology is good i mean you can't stop it and uh, it is welcome but yes like uh, like every other uh, development in society the technology develop, development in technology is also used by criminals so we are aware of that yes cyber crime is on increase we are now uh, having lots of crimes and different varieties of crimes being perpetrated on uh, online that includes uh, investment fraud nigerian frauds financial frauds and uh, also these uh, uh, olx uh, kind of you know uh, these fake uh, sexual blackmailing Se as well and, and of course the body offenses like stalking i mean uh, cyber stalking and then sexual blackmailing and things like that so yes it's a new challenge and but anyway i think uh, fortunately telangana state and hyderabad uh, city police has got uh, a good cyber security wing with all the training and uh, required gadgets and it also it is also sufficiently uh, staffed so we will now focus and then uh, try to uh, bring about a change in that Uh, thank you so much and best wishes for your uh, challenge so uh, the hyderabad police certainly wanting to crack down on the drug menace and uh, the chief minister in fact has said that his top priority is going to be having a drug free street in hyderabad with camera person nagraju uma sudhir ndtv